In this video, we're taking a look at a concept from this book. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's Amin here with Sarah Masters, developing your mindset for success. And, um, you know, I did a preview video of this book when I was going to read it. I am nearly finished it. Uh, this is uh, Decisive by Chip and Dan Heath. It's about how to make decisions in a realistic way, a way that takes into account your emotions, logic, probability, you know, overconfidence that we often have, uh, uh, and over optim uh, when we're very optimistic about things, we assume it'll work out, for example. I'm in uh, one of the sections about uh, taking, uh, attaining distance from your emotions before making a decision. Okay, very you know common. We say you know you have to be super rational about your decisions. Forget emotion. That's not what this book is actually saying. What it's saying is that you need to understand that there is the emotional factor there, and there is also the rational factor. Just to know that they're there, to acknowledge they're there, and to take them into account. Right. So one thing that we often do is we make you know a lot of us we have a problem with like instant gratification or short-term thinking. Okay, so we only we make decisions that we are happy with now, but in five months we we're annoyed at ourselves that we did that thing, right? So how do you avoid that? How do you avoid uh, only looking at the short term and not the long term? And the solution that they give in this book is the 10-10-10 rule. What is the 10-10-10 rule? When you're making a decision, you ask yourself three questions. Very simple, three questions. Number one, how will I feel about making this decision in 10 minutes? Okay, let's say you want to quit your job, right? You've been thinking about it and now you're kind of, you know, you're thinking to pull the trigger on it, right? So in 10 minutes, how will you feel? You probably feel great. You feel amazing, right? You, you have, I don't know, let's say, assume you don't like your job. That's why you're thinking of quitting it. And uh, after, in 10 minutes after quitting your job or giving in your notice or whatever, you're, you're, you're going to be over the moon. So, okay, 10 minutes. Okay, cool. Now, the next question to ask yourself is, how will I feel about this in 10 months? Okay, so then a little bit more of a medium term thinking. Okay, so, uh, okay, maybe I'll have a much better job. I'll be happy. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't get another job. Maybe there are no other jobs that are really better than this that I have experience in. And so I need to keep that in mind when I'm thinking of quitting. Okay, right. So when you think 10 months into the future, how you will think back at this decision, you start to peel away a bit and get some deeper insights, right? And the third question is, how will I feel about, about this in 10 years? And, you know, I think quitting a job, you might, depending on the job exactly in the situation, you might not think it's such a big, significant deal, Qu quitting a job, you know, move on to another job. You know, these days, people stay in jobs for like just two years, one year, whatever, right? So, um, but it's worth asking that question, how will I feel about this in 10 years? So just by asking those three questions, 10, 10, 10, um, you give yourself, um, you, you allow your emotions uh, to have their right place. And you allow short term, medium term and long term to have their place in your decision making process. You're not putting any of them aside. You're simply putting them in their place and understanding that, OK, short term feels good. Medium term feels you know, not so good, perhaps long term feels neutral, maybe. Right. So you're putting everything in their place. I thought, you know, out of, there are loads of different ideas in this book for how to make decisions. Out of that, um, I thought this was one of the simplest ones I could share with you in this video. Um, as you know from my previous video about this book, I recommend anything that these guys write, Chip and Dan Heath. And as you can notice, I put money as bookmarks because that's how valuable these ideas are. This has been Amin with Sira Masters. This is the book Decisive. And I just shared with you the 10, 10, 10 rule. Subscribe and I'll see you next time, inshallah.